So welcome everybody to another Behind the Tea. Today we will continue our series on the gods of Robert E. Howard Conan the Barbarian. Today's gods are those of the smaller cults in Hyboria and in no way challenge the popularity of Mitra which I've talked about in my last video. They are Ashura, Ibis and Ishtar. So let's get into it. Now, the first of the three gods is Ashura, who is mainly worshipped in Vendaya. According to his priests, Ashura has no true form as he is part of the cosmos. But of note is when he wishes to send a messenger to his followers, he does so by reincarnation in the form of the birth of an exceptional mortal. He teaches that life is illusionary and that truth only comes after death from the soul. The cult devotes itself to penetrating the veil of illusion of life. Ashura reveals that all beings reincarnate and that the purpose of life is the paying of the karmic debt against the soul. Evil acts extends the cycle of reincarnation Good acts shorten it, thus those who suffer are not to be pitied as they have earned what they reaped in their previous lives. The worship of Ashura is done openly in Vendaya and its population, but in secret in Aquilonia during the High Borin era, and only a small number of devoted servants due to the prosecution of their religion by the more zealous of Mitra's followers. Some priests of Ashura wander the land as beggar priests, while others are members of the upper caste of Vendayan society, the Brahma, which make up their scholar and ruling class. These priests also command the lower caste, the untouchables. The followers of Ashura believe in rituals of meditation and purification, which includes ritual baths in the holy rivers of Vendaya and during cremation ceremonies. The dead are burned to dust on great funeral pyres, their ashes blessed and spread to the winds. This is because anyone not properly cremated may rise as the undead. The cult of Ashura has also great knowledge of magic, but I should let this quote from a worshipper of Ashura tell you that. Men say our cult is a survival of the ancient Stygian serpent worship. That is a lie. Our ancestors came from Vendaya beyond the Sea of Vilayet and the Blue Himalayan Mountains. We are sons of the East, not the South, and we have knowledge of all wizards of the East who are greater than the wizards of the West. Next is a lesser Stygian god, who it must be noted opposes Set, an evil god who we will get to in a future episode. The current god of discussion though is called Ibis, a god of knowledge, learning and magic. Ibis isn't generous with his knowledge, but neither is he covetous of it. This though is only achieved by those who study and work hard by research. For those people, he is a faithful source of information. His worshippers claim that Ibis is omniscient. Rumor also has it that Ibis keeps a set of three great books locked away in a crypt in which all knowledge is recorded. Ibis doesn't often send his avatar into the world, but when he does, it is to further his own interests in seeking new knowledge of magic or to oppose Set. Ibis can also manifest as a sudden burst of inspiration or through dreams or visions. Now of note is that the religion of Ibis is also almost defunct as their priests were driven from Stygia by the worshippers of Set. Their end largely brought about by the rise of the dark wizard Toph Amon. But before that, priests of Ibis were scholars, sages, doctors and diviners. The priests of Ibis sometimes ally with the priests of Mitra against their common enemy, Set. A well-known priest of Ibis in the times of Conan is Kalentes, who is a wizard priest and is sometimes referred to as the last priest of Ibis. Last but not least, we have Ishtar, also known as the fertility goddess. She can take any form but usually appears as an overwhelmingly beautiful maiden. Her temples are luxurious affairs and are adorned with sculptures of her in her maiden form, which are the focus of worship as unlike the worshippers of Mitra who use an altar, the followers of Ishtar especially 
in Shem believes that Ishtar actually will inhabit these statues at times, if not always. Her worship includes that of blood sacrifice of animals meant to bring her favor to the harvest. The cult of Ishtar is linked to the idea of excess and are also famous for her temple prostitutes. Ishtar shows her favor by bestowing bountiful harvests and the birth of many children in exchange for this blood sacrifice. The birth of hideously deformed children as well as drought are regarded as bad omens for Ishtar. And unlike many Hyborian religions, Ishtar also has both male and female priests. So these are the lesser gods of the world of Conan, the Barbarian. If you like content like this, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.